Hello and welcome to Mark Productions. You are here with me, Matthew, and we are here with what could possibly be the best news update ever. Ever. Let's just put it that way. It, it, it really is amazing. There is some amazing stuff we're going to be covering here. Um, it's just going to be off the scale with... Oh, crazy. Crazy, crazy. But anyway... Let's start by saying there was a Toys R Us, I think it was like a display sort of hands-on experience before the game came out, and I think it was only in America. It could have been Australia as well. Not in the UK, bit of a bummer, but hey-ho, America, lucky, lucky people. I guess they get that because they, they obviously it's released last for them. Um, <clears throat> and Australia, it would be two weeks yesterday. Wow, two weeks yesterday. For the UK, or at least Europe, it'll be two weeks tomorrow, and then America, it's two weeks and three days, I think, I'm pretty sure. Um, or at least comes out on a Sunday for uh, the UK people, um, if it was American days. But anyway, let's not talk about that. We know when all, the, all, all of it is coming out, um, but we have some very, very interesting stuff. So, let's talk, first of all, packaging. So... Here we go with the first lot. Now, basically, there was a few different boxes which were being shown at this, um... Oh, what could you say? At this sort of display hands-on sort of event going on at different Toys R Us's around America slash Australia. One of the two. I think it was America, though. Um, so, obviously, we can see here Starcast, and this is the very top of his box. And boy, does it look amazing. It really does look fantastic. Um, <clears throat> it just looks so interesting, um, and I love how if you tilt the box up, you get this fantastic artwork with that black background, which just brings out the whole lot of um, detail for every single character. Um, not only that, we can see the back of the box as well, um, which does show... Now, this is interesting. Um, it does say 30 plus Skylanders to collect. We know there's around 31, um, and it shows a few of them there. Wave 1 slash 2. We we know probably Wave 1 and 2 are going to come out at the same time. Um, and we, I have some other evidence towards that as well. But obviously Master Starcast, we know he's a ninja and we know he's of the Dark Element. But he looks very, very cool indeed. It shows some... Uh, like, you know, get the figure, put it on the portal, unlock it in the game. That's what it always shows, but that's fair enough. There he is in hand. He looks absolutely amazing. I'm loving the blue, the sort of like blue, um, what would you call They look sort of chromish, but they're not, but they look really vibrant and bright and shiny. And then the, the center bit is probably going to be the same color scheme that Nightmare has, where it's that sort of very dark, dark black with a hint of green. Maybe it doesn't look like it, but it, it's still got that glittery stuff. So that that's pretty cool indeed. He looks very, very cool. Of course, we know Starcast is supposedly a Wave 2, but that obviously means as well that it should be uh, a Day 1. Fingers crossed. So, also I love this as well, because if you have the Swap Force portal, then I would get it out and have a little look at the picture here. You've literally got to maybe place your thumbs either side of the portal, and that's probably enough to show you how big the base is. It's pretty big. They are a very, very big characters, and I absolutely cannot wait to... I really, really just want to see these in hand now. I want to get them in hand. I want to open them. I want to see what they're like, because they look absolutely amazing, and there's going to be loads of them to collect. Trust me, there is. So, also in terms of packaging, we also have the creation crystals to collect. Now, what's even interesting here is that it says 30-plus creation crystals to collect. Now you're probably thinking, well, hold on, there's only 10 elements. Well, if you've been paying close attention to different, like, promotions and everything like that, you probably have noticed that, oh no, there is not, there is not these different crystals. There, but there is. Now, it even shows you this straight away. Right there, where the Imaginator is popping out of that, that water creation crystal, keep an eye on that design. Come over to all 10, over on the side, you want to go down to the second row, three across, Look at the design on that water one. We know it's water because it's a dark blue. The other one is air, the other one is dark, the other one down on the bottom right is undead, which looks pretty awesome, actually. But look at the base and look at the top. Completely different. So, 
This is going to be very, very interesting because I was literally thinking we only had to get 10 of them and that's them. They're all done. But now there's all this evidence coming up and somebody has actually made like a whole poster, sort of, of all the different designs that we've seen so far. So my guess is, is that the fire crystal we get in the starter pack could be different to a one you get out in like a single pack retail version. So that is going to be really cool because not only are we going to be able to make multiple characters from different elements, but there's going to be different crystal types, which to be honest, I'm probably going to collect all of them because you've got to, you have to. <laughs> Or at least I think you have to. There's going to be obviously some people, I think, who might just collect 10 and that's it. They, you know. But I'm guessing some of the designs might, and I'm saying might, be the same. That's probably going to happen. Um, but, oh boy, it, it, it just it just looks so cool. And I can't, I, can, I just, it, just that one picture alone is plenty of information to keep me going in terms of thinking. 30 plus. Now, does that mean we could be up to... Now, the thing is, if it was 40, this is what I'm thinking, if it was 40 of them, it would have said. It would have said 40 plus. You've got to also think... No, hold on. No, you don't have to think. Don't think, because there isn't a chaos one. There isn't a chaos one at all. So why does it say 30 plus? Are we going to get maybe additional ones? Maybe there's going to be 35, but I don't know why there'd be 35. If there's 30 plus, why aren't they rounding it up so that there's... This is where your mind has to go mad. Oh, but it's so cool. It literally is so cool. And there's a little bit of a zoomed in look at all of them there. They do look really cool. I love that undead one. I like the base. It's quite kind of chunky. It's got almost like these, um, I don't know, ro robotronic gears poking out of it on the side. The crystals look amazing. They're held in by, you know, um, like almost clasps. And they're staying in position. I just can't wait to put these on the portal and actually finally get Lightcore back. Because in a way it's Lightcore because they've used the same sort of technology to make it pulse like a heartbeat. And I just can't wait to see that in hand. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Um, but there is one of the crystals there. Now that was a light one there on top of an Aurora box as well. So there's a few spoilers there. But if we take a look at this one beforehand. This is the picture I just showed you. Have a look at the light one. Now, the base of it has got points, like it's a four, it's got like four points coming out of it, like on each side. And also the top is different. You look at this one, completely different. There is bit, one, two, three, there's probably about six different things poking down to sort of give it that base. The top is different. So there you go, you've already got a difference there. Look, just keep looking. You can see the differences. Plain and simple this shows. So already you can see two different designs there. So that is really, really cool. There's a water one there. Now I don't, this one has got four um, strands coming down on the base. It's also got these sort of rocky areas, sort of pillars coming down on the side. Now is there any difference with this one? Yes, there is. Look, that one has, that one has six. And it's not even that one as well. Look, that water one has got almost like crystal designs or like a um, diamond design on the bottom with like a frilly up, uppy bit on the top. This this one here as well has got like pointy bits. And then this one is completely different. So we've already got three of them. So that is crazy. That really is crazy. So you've got three of the water crystals straight away by just looking at these pictures. Nuts. Completely crazy. But I like it though because... When you when you make a um, imaginator, whichever class you you choose, it's locked in, and that's it. You can't change the class. You can change whatever you want on the character, but say for example you do a water brawler, even though there's already two water brawlers in terms of Kingpen and Grave Clobber. We'll get to that, but it's completely up to you. But you've got to remember the factor that once you pick. I don't know, quick shot, that's it, that's locked in. A water quick shot is now yours. You can't change anything about it. But now having three to four crystals, maybe, that's going to make it a lot, a lot easier. And hopefully it's going to be absolutely amazing. I can't wait. Can't wait just to be going out and maybe seeing all these different ones, picking them all up bringing them back, opening a whole lot of water ones. It's going to be amazing. going to be really, really cool. Let me know your thoughts on that, though. Now also, we know that in the boxes you do get stickers, and you can see here quite openly that these are the different stickers. Now on the base, now in particular not on this one, 
Uh, nor, nor on this one, but on the very opposite side, so literally just go 180 over to the other side of it, uh, the place where you can't see, there's another sort of um, circular bit that's blank. You can then put a sticker on there to show what the battle class is on that specific one. There's also a name tag there which you can place on the poster. Um, there's not enough space for the three different crystals, but there's one. But you don't even have to take it off that sheet. You could write it on there, fair enough. Maybe if you're displaying it, just put it underneath and put the crystal just over the stickers and done. You've got your little little thing. People can see what he's called. Plonk him on, done. Or her, sorry. It's going to be amazing. Really, really is. Um, <laughs> crazy. Right, so we did have a little hint at Master Aurora's box. Now, I, 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 I kept saying it was Aura, but it's Aurora. Um, it... it it's it's a bit of a weird name. Well, not sorry. It's not a weird name. It, I mean, Aurora is very much sun orientated, you know. Um, but I kept saying Aura. People were saying in the comments, "No, it's Aurora, you silly moose. Calm down." Um, so it's Aurora. Um, <clears throat> but fan it, it, the boxes, I just can't get over them. They look so cool. Um, but they look as if they're like really sturdy as well, like. I'm not saying you would drop it from a height, but if you dropped it from a height, the figure would be perfectly fine. I'm hoping that when you open it up, it's got the same concept design as you can like pull back the back bit, and it'll sort of unclick from the sides, and then the figure sort of loosens. You pull it out from the base, off you go. You've got him or her. Um, <clears throat> just have to see. There's the top of Aurora there. You can also see the figure just off to the top. Uh, the back here as well, not much difference in terms of the different crystals there. You've got a magic, an air, and an earth. Probably different ones. M most doubtly there is. Most doubt. M most doubtly. Hello. <laughs> Weird word. But there you go. You can see Master Aurora in game, and also again, you've got the King Pen going on the portal then in game. Up close look. Pretty cool. Right now, um, let me um, let me just show you. Right, <clears throat> have a look at her in game first. Have a look at, like, you know, her facial expressions and everything like that. Now, also, Master Aurora, she's been confirmed to be Eon's niece. So everyone, I mean, everyone knew that she was related to Eon in some way, whether it's her daughter, probably not his wife or partner, let's put it that way. Um, but apparently, niece. So that's pretty cool. I like how that's definitely happened, and it's uh, pretty cool indeed. But, um... Is it me, or do the eyes look a little bit off? That I don't know. I don't know what it'd be like. What what it'd be like? Like there we go. Um, what it'd be like if um, they were more like at the end of the eyes instead of there. They just look a bit goofy. I don't know what's going on. I I don't know what. I don't know if you look at it from a different angle. I'm trying to like tilt my head or something like that. Does it look different? It's weird. Don't get me wrong, the whole other face is perfectly fine. The mouth, the nose, everything like that. The costume looks fantastic. The paint job is amazing. But for some reason, the eyes are the thing that make it look a bit weird. Woo! Um, there it is. There she is from the side. You can see Eon's uh, head there planted on her chest piece there, um, which is pretty cool indeed. There she is from the other side. Of course, when you look from her from the side, she looks perfectly fine. She looks normal, but straight on, it's like, whoa... Um, again, the back there, pretty cool. But it's the eyes, it's the eyes, just really, really weird. Um, there she is in game as well. She looks pretty cool in game. Um, but you can see, look, her eyes are more closer to the end than, well, actually, no, hold the phone. If anything, her eyes look a bit too big and as if they should be, yeah, a little bit more closer and a little bit less green and black than they are. A little bit smaller than that. Um, it's odd. It really is odd. Obviously, in the get the game model is perfectly fine, but the 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 toys just got this sense of I don't know. It's like a doll staring at you. You know, like the doll is like completely focused on you. <laughs> it's weird. Again, look 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 at that. See, look at her eyes there. They they're like massive. The 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 green is actually on the end, almost up to the very, very like other side of the eye. The black piece, is, uh, the black part of it, or the iris, is, um, look, see the iris is so small, and the green part is like, ugh, it's weird. Um, it's weird, but she looks perfectly fine in game. I don't know whether they'll change it now, but we'll have to just wait and see. Fingers crossed. But she looks pretty cool in game, obviously she is a swashbuckler. 
which means she's going to have a lot of sword attacks and everything like that. Um, I haven't seen, as far as I know, any gameplay of such for her. Um, but, you know, swashbuckler, she's got the sword, she's, ev she's ev uh, evidently going to be swiping at stuff. She's a light class, so maybe she's going to have some sort of light orbs or something like that that's going to make her a little bit different. Who knows, we'll have to just wait and see. Uh, there's also a hands-on picture of Wolfgang here. It looks pretty cool. Um, I think a lot of people have sort of like looked at it from the other side when his eye is closed, because obviously he's looking down the bow to shoot the arrow. Um, his other eye is closed, there you can see there. But the detailing is fantastic, you know, the fur and everything like that. The paint job is brilliant on the spikes. Um, and he looks really, really cool. Really cool indeed. So there's a back shot of Ember. Again, she looks amazing, especially in hand. But you can see, obviously that's not my hand, but it's somebody's hand. But if you think of like holding the Skylander in that same pose, you could probably sort of estimate how big this Skylander is going to be. Obviously, she's quite thin but tall. The sword is the thing that makes her quite big, and so does the base. So it's that sort of like look of just sort of estimating what she actually looks like. Wolfgang, look how, you know, he's holding him. And the boxes as well, you've got to think of the boxes. They they, they look quite big. They really do look quite big. So they, they're evidently making the packaging big to support these bigger characters. Um, there's Barbella. Quite small, quite chunky in terms of having the weapon sort of going across her backs, which makes it quite bigger. Um, but she looks really cool. She definitely looks really cool. She almost looks... As if she could light up like a light core. She's got that sort of clear crystal traptanium look to her, which is rather interesting. But she looks pretty cool on the uh, on the screen there as well. So onto the Taekwon Crow box here. This is the front of it. Obviously, he's not inside, but you can see where the space would be for to put him. Um, fingers crossed you can get him in and out perfectly fine without damaging the box because obviously with myself I want to keep all the boxes because I'd rather display them in the box than out of the box because the boxes just look amazing they're an open window design they're perfectly fabulous to be put <laughs> to be stacking um, perfectly fabulous what the heck am I doing um, they're ideal they're, 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 they're perfectly made to be stackable and everything like that which is brilliant it's gonna be amazing so yes, there's the there's the back of the box here for Taekwon Crow, looking extremely cool. You can see him in game there just with that lovely bit of light sheen going down it. Again, the crystals and the Skylanders exactly the same amount. Uh, they're the same. There's no difference. There's nothing, um, which I find quite odd because sometimes they do like to sort of show the other elements which are available or um, or oh, sorry, the, the the same characters of that element. That's what they like to show, but. Um, yeah, pretty cool back of the box, and obviously it does show he's a ninja fire. The front shows that as well. He looks really cool. A really cool character indeed. Um, I'm so glad he's back, actually, because he was a pretty cool villain as well. Um, <clears throat> very awesome. And he's in the fire class now. Chef Pepper Jack, eat your heart out, buddy. You're gone. You're out of the picture. Um, but obviously he's a ninja fire. Very, very cool indeed. There's the back of him there. Um, now, let's move on to Mr. Cat. Now, there has been some gameplay, some uh, some information on, his, on her moves. I thought it was a male. It's not. It really isn't. Um, she is rather cool. Uh, she's definitely rather cool. Now, they've, they've described her as being uh, the same sort of design as Nightmare, where it's sort of like a horse slash griffin's body and then you've got like the hands up top so she's running around like a tiger or slash cat on the bottom and then she's got another two hands up top now you can see obviously she's got that staff there which looks absolutely amazing i love that staff and i think you'll probably be able to unlock that in the game you've got to um maybe the helmet as well would be pretty cool no it's the tail isn't it because uh, mr cat's tail it was the tail yeah so you get a tail and also probably the staff, which is really awesome because that staff is just amazing. Um, the design of her is really awesome. She looks pretty awesome. You know, it's, it's, it's a sort of house cat that you'd actually want to have in your house. Um, <laughs> because she just looks so fluffy and cute. There we go. I'm just going to go out on a limb and just say that. But in terms of moves, um, that, that wand stash staff, because she is a sorcerer, 
Um, basically, it produces like a laser from the crystal area, and it sort of shoots down at the enemies. Um, there's also another move where she sort of spawns out a um, uh, a wool ball, a cotton ball, no, a wool ball. Um, like most cats play with, they play with a bit of um, wool and they knock it around everywhere, but she throws it at the enemies. Now, I think it spawns from a staff and then she throws it, but it seems as if it can be like energized and everything like that. She also throws a staff, which I find really cool because she just sort of like lobs it, she'll get it back, and then what happens when it lands, there's this extra cat which spawns. Now, it's the exact same model as her, it's called a copycat. Um, which is pretty cool because obviously she is a cat and you're copying the cat, so copycat. Makes perfect sense. Um, and that copycat will then basically attack the enemies for you, so you've almost got like a turret, in a way a turret. But I think it also distracts the enemies as well and sort of will allow the enemies to go after that. She also has this move almost like stealth elf where she'll sort of like disappear and reappear around the side. You know, you can sort of put it down, they go after that because you've disappeared, you go back around, you fire something at them, they're gone. Pretty awesome indeed. Um, but um, she does look really, really cool. Um, and the gameplay of her is fantastic. Like, there she is, there she is in game. Um... It's just really cool, really awesome, and for her to be a wave one, because we know she's going to be in a combo pack, fingers crossed the combo packs will come out on day one, they're not going to do a supercharged combo pack like they did last year, and it's going to be out like a month to a month and a half later, uh, fingers crossed not, but wow, this is just amazing, she, she really does look amazing, um, and I love that, I love that so much, that is an awesome picture of her fantastic but you sort of look at the face and you in a way I sort of think it looks more masculine but then the pink and purple and the hair as well it does give you that sort of female vibe plus the voice as well the voice is very feminine but it's got that sort of almost deep voice I know it sounds a bit weird but it's sort of like a deep voice I don't know whether they've done something to the actor's voice who voices this but it's it's interesting to say the least very very interesting indeed um, so yes, Mr. Cat there, pretty cool. Now let's move on to this because this is rather interesting. Now lucky people in America um, are able to pre-order on Amazon these different combo packs. Now let's go through this, right? This item will be released on October 16th. Now that is the American um, release date. So in America that is when it will get released. But look who is in there already. You have Aurora, Barbella, Chopscotch. Now we know all of them. I don't think Aurora is. Or she might be. No, she is. Is she? She might be. Fingers crossed. She is wave one. Ember, however, is wave two. No, hold on. Aurora is wave two as well. So you have two wave ones, two wave twos. These are coming out on day one in America. Ringing any alarm bells yet? Because I think it should do. But... You can see here, it's a, it's a girl power combo pack, which I think is pretty cool indeed. You know, that's definitely a very, very cool way of um, get, maybe getting more girls involved with Skylanders. Because, I don't know, does, is it sort of a more masculine game? I don't know. I don't think so. It's, it's a very family game. Um, you can definitely, you know, play it with the family. Everyone's able to do it. They've implemented a lot of female characters this year. Um... Which is brilliant because you know more. I think more girls will will want to play it when there's a female character. Um, but I don't. I don't mind as long as as long as they do something in game and they actually attack and they can do something and they're like a top notch character. That's that's brilliant and as the designs are fantastic. Who gives the monkeys? It's Skylanders. It's amazing. Um, but I think this works out better. I mean, for me personally, if I was to buy this. And wait for it to be delivered, which don't ask. I wouldn't. Um, it would work out cheaper in terms of just buying that, but the shipping would push it woof way over. Um, it does work out better for me. Whether it works out better for people in America, I don't know. Let me know in America, because I'm guessing in America they're probably going to be about fifteen ninety nine dollars. I think maybe sixteen. I don't know. Um, so I think this would be more beneficial to get this. Obviously, it does say list price $60, and then it's gone down to about $55, let us just say that, um, which is rather cool indeed. 
Um, but I just like the concept that they've actually added this in and you can actually purchase like a girl power four pack. Now there's also this which is a, vi it's a villain, villain sensei five pack. Now look who's in this one. Now I was, I'm going to say, I was tempted, very, very tempted indeed to get this. Because it's got the Chompy Mage in it. Now the Chompy Mage is apparently coming out in wave three. Um, but people are going to be able to get him on day day one, in a way. Um, there's also Hoodsicle there, which we know to be a Wave 2. Everyone else there is Wave 1. Taekwon Crow, Dr. Crankcase, and also Wolfgang. So, yes, it's rather interesting. Again, more evidence to support that Wave 1 and 2 will come out on day one. I don't think Chompy Mage, though, is Wave 2. I, I, he, I think he has been confirmed to be Wave 3. I'm pretty sure he has. Um, <clears throat> because apparently there's a Christmas mold of him or something like that. But we'll have to see. There's also this one, which is blowing my mind completely. Um, it's an 8-pack Sensei Hero combo pack. Eat your life. Get out of here. Don't come back. This is amazing. It just really is. Look at who is here. We have a single pack of Mr. Cath. We have Tri-Tip. We have Barbella, Chopscotch, Starcast, Ambush. We have Aurora, and we also have Ember. That is a pretty cool 8-pack. Now look, I mean, you're probably looking at the price and thinking, Whoa! That, to me, would work out a lot better, a lot cheaper, if I just bought it from that. PMP blows it right up into the sky, but hey-ho. Um... <clears throat> So yes, lucky people in America are going to be able to get these sort of packs. It's going to be a pretty cool unboxing, definitely, especially if you can get all eight of them. Wow, that's going to be amazing. But again, doesn't this sort of shout out to you? This is getting released October 16th. This Obviously, this is Amazon.com for the, um, America. But you've got Tri-Tip, Mr. Cat, you've got Ember, you've got Starcast, and you've also got Aurora, who have all been confirmed to be a Wave 2. Obviously, we know Mr. Cat will be in that combo pack. Again, Wolfgang's got a combo pack as well. Um, so, yeah, we're definitely going to have to keep an eye on all of this and see what this is like. But let me know, people in America, is this going to work out beneficial for you? Do you know the prices for the single boxes? Is this going to be more beneficial? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, now, moving on, let's talk packaging, unboxings, Everything like that. Now, number one, let's have a look at some of these crystals. These crystals look absolutely amazing in this picture. Um, Golden Queen, she looks sparkling, she looks golden, she looks very chrome. The crystals, they look exactly the same, especially the fire one. The earth one gets into that category as well. Um, some of them are looking um, charcoal y in terms of that dark one. Um, but wow, these look amazing. Now, obviously, you can see the package in there, that's for a PS4. But, but, and this is a big, big but. Let me show you this. Now, you're probably thinking, what the heck is going on here? This isn't mine, okay? Don't worry, this is not mine. But this is a in-hand starter pack being unboxed. Yes, you heard right. An in-hand starter pack being unboxed. Now, this is for the Wii U. Now, more specifically, which I've only just noticed now, which is rather interesting, have a little look down to the bottom right. Now, look what it says. It does say it in, I think it's French, but look what you get as a portal. It looks as if we're going to get not the Swap Force portal, but the Superchargers portal, which means the crystal, or at least the villain crystals, might come back. I don't know whether this is... I don't I don't know. I thought it was confirmed that we get the Swap Force portal. Whether we do or not, I don't know. Honestly, I'm going to actually use the Swap Force portal because I'm actually enjoy, I enjoy looking at these figures on that portal. That's how they've been displayed. That's how they've been... Um, shown off, that's what I'm going to continue to do. So, very, very cool. However, as this person is opening this, now you're probably wondering, how did they open it? Now, apparently, a retailer made a boo-boo, and they sold this to the person, they got it early, and they're unboxing the whole thing. Now, wait for it, because obviously, if you're any sort of person, and you know what is in a starter pack, you know what is going to come up. You know what they would have photoed, and oh boy, did they, they do it. But... You can see Kingpin there, you can see the Creation Crystal, you can see Golden Queen. That looks amazing. It really, really does. It looks fantastic. But, look what they did. I, I, oh. This is so, so cool. 
they photographed the poster that you get. Now, you're probably looking at this straight away and thinking, oh my god, oh my god, my yes, 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 yes. Obviously, we know what has been confirmed. We know the names. But now we finally have models. We have the actual figures themselves on the bases. No artwork. Amazing. Literally amazing. And you can see also the crystals are displayed at the bottom. You've got the... the um, <clears throat> those extra spaces to put the stickers if you wanted to um, <clears throat> but it shows all 31 of the different characters crazy absolutely crazy so what we're gonna do we're gonna go through them all so here we go this is gonna be awesome um, but first let's just chill let's just chill there's the creation crystal for the fire now this displays what I was talking about earlier have a little look at the side there now obviously you'd be thinking oh where's the fire symbol that is the clear side so you can put the stickers on it very very nice indeed looks very very cool but let's go through the portal can I just say Blastertron looks amazing he looks amazing that sword Done. I'm sold. Sorted. Look at that sword. It looks. It. I. I the. Uh, uh, the word. There are no words for this poster. It looks amazing, and I can't believe it's actually released all of the pictures for the figures. Now, evidently, it's not 100% clear. It was in the previous shot, but as you stretch and make it bigger, obviously, it's going to get a little bit blurry. But this looks fantastic. Whether I think Blastertron's going to be a very, very late figure, really late, in fact, Pro probably one of the last waves. That's my guess, though. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. Aside from that, we've also got Master Buckshot, who was no, it wasn't. Um, we haven't seen him except for the picture of his face. Um, that's the only sort of thing. Now, of course, this post is being evil and is covering up my main man, Peñota, but you can see him there on his on his stand ready to go as the figure with his lollipop he looks amazing he really really does master buckshot looks fantastic um it and i think a lot of people were thinking he could be on the light element evidently not he's magic the color scheme of him though does look very light but um because obviously everyone else has got that sort of pink sort of look the arrow might be pink actually so maybe that gives you that sort of uh magic hook there but he does look very, very cool. Buckshot there, very interesting indeed. We've got Master Flarewolf here, which of course is a bazooka class. Again, we have seen this guy in the trailer, and we had a bit of a clearer picture of him and some gameplay. But look at the figure here. He looks absolutely amazing. He's got that that well, rocket launcher bazooka thing literally on his shoulder. He's got the Chinese dragon going around it. He looks amazing. He really, really does. Um, now we've also got these two. Now, f first of all, let me just say, if you look at Chain Reaction very quickly, you think, is he holding Minecraft swords? Like, really quickly. Really quickly. I mean, like, looking back for, back for Minecraft swords. They're not. The whole point of Chain Reaction is that his swords are chainsaws, or at least from what they look like, or they've been wrapped with chain. Um, it'd be amazing if they were chainsaws, because that'd be amazing. But, um... He just looks really, really cool. He looks like a, a Viking. He, he, you know, I mean, he screams tech with that, that helmet thing there. But, wow, he looks really, really cool. Like a Viking dwarf sort of thing. But those swords are amazing. He's quite muscular as well. Um, I'm just trying to see, think what, what you might unlock. I'd either say the gauntlets or his helmet. We know you normally get the weapons, so that's fair enough. Because they look amazing. Um... I think he's from the swashbuckler class as well. Yeah, he is, because he's got two swords. Um, but also, we have Master Robo. Now, we also knew about this guy. We've seen him in the trailer as well. He looks very, very cool. Um, and he does in this one. He looks extremely cool. He looks almost like Robin Hood, um, because of his green colour scheme. His hood's up and everything like that. He looks amazing. These two are amazing. Um, I would say Chain Reaction probably come out the same time as Blastertron, Robo, I don't know, he might come out with Flare Wolf. Let's just put it that way. I'm sort of giving my own estimates on time scale here and when they might come out. Now, we've also got Grave Clobber and Master Tidepool here. Grave Clobber is a brawler. Now, bearing in mind, Kingpin is a brawler as well. Now, listen to this breaking news. The water class has been a bit greedy here and has stolen two of the same battle class. I went through every single one. None of them duplicated except for the water one. Which I found quite weird because I thought they were really going to try, just try, 
and get them all bang on and have one from each element. But we have water with two brawlers, one being Kingpin, one, be one being Grave Clobber. Now, can I just say, Grave Clobber looks amazing. He's flexing his muscles. He looks an amazing model. He really does. Uh, again, I think he probably came out with Blastertron. That's my own estimate. Um, I think Tidepool has been said to come out in Wave 3, if I'm honest. Uh, but she looks really cool. Obviously, she's a quick shot. She's got the two guns. The pose looks really, really cool. She's sort of like looking back on herself and shooting. Very, very cool indeed. Moving down, uh, obviously, we've got Airstrike there, but we've got Wildstorm. Now, we knew about this guy quite a few updates ago. Um, <clears throat> but boy, does he look amazing. He looks quite tall, actually. I don't know whether it hits, it's his legs or his torso section or whether it's his head being quite high up that makes him very, very tall. His head doesn't look very proportioned to his neck. Something must be going on there, and I don't know what. That sword, though, looks amazing. Um, I'm guessing, because we, we, we know we get the arm guards, we know we're going to get the, the, the sword as well, because that sword is amazing. Um, but next to him, we've also got Bad Juju. Now, this is obviously the first time we've seen Bad Juju as a figure, and boy, does it look, it look amazing. She's a swashbuckler class, which is rather interesting. Very interesting indeed. Fingers crossed she has some of the moves from Trap Team. Because, to be honest, she was my number one go-to to destroy. And I mean destroy everything. Um, you threw her on, you were off. You were off. Because she really did do a lot of damage. And she was fantastic. Really happy to see that one. I don't know when these are going to be coming out. I'm going to say maybe Bad Juju might be with Blastertron. You never know. Um, no doubt there's probably going to be about five waves, so maybe they might push her into wave four, maybe five. Wildstorm, I'd say four. I'd say four. We've seen him in the trailer. He might come out with Tide Pool, seeing as she was in the trailer. We'll have to see, though. Um, we've also got this Master Boom Bloom, and I have to say, I love this pose. I love it. It's, a, it's really cool. Um, these thorns that are coming from the base, and they're going all the way up to her. Uh, it's got to be a her because of the hair. It's in bunches. I'm pretty sure it is a female. Um, <clears throat> but she's a ninja, which I find rather cool because there's nothing there to distinguish her as a ninja. Unless her hand on the other side has got something in it. Um, but the vines just look amazing. Is there a vine class? Can you get a vine class? That'd be awesome. Um, <laughs> but oh, they just look amazing. I'm just so happy this poster has been shown off because it just shows so much and it's amazing. It really is literally amazing. So, <clears throat> let's finish off with this. The Thumping Wumpa Islands Adventure Pack featuring Crash Bandicoot and Dr. Neo Cortex. We knew this was coming, but we haven't seen any packaging up until now. And boy, does this look amazing. This looks absolutely amazing. Honestly, I'm so happy I don't have a PS4 or PS3 uh, because this, this, I just want this pack. I really just want this pack. Now... Um, you're probably wondering, well, hold on, they've released the packaging, they must have released an, um, a, a date for it to be released. Now, it seems to be sometime in November. Now, <clears throat> I think the site was in Australia. Now, we know that Australia is getting the game first. Whether it's going to come out worldwide on this day, but apparently the 14th of November, a month later after Europe gets the game, this will come out. That's pretty cool. I won't lie, that is pretty cool, you know. So we're going to get different Skylanders in October, November, and December. We know December's normally going to have some Christmas Wave, Wave 3. Um, there is also the um, the the Halloween ones, which uh, is a Chopscotch one. Um, but this looks really, really cool. I, I like this pack a lot. Obviously, as soon as you put one of them, either one of them, on the portal, you unlock the adventure pack. There's no item to unlock the actual... Um, the level it's them they unlock it done sorted and these guys look absolutely amazing really really cool indeed um and they're going to be two extra editions in november which is just going to be fantastic to see so with that in mind let's leave it there what do you guys think oh boy let me know in the comments below your own opinion on the news which has been discussed today because believe me and you can tell me has this been the best news update Ever. Because I would say it has. There has been literally so much information. We have every single character. Every single one has been revealed now. Every figure form has been revealed. We don't know their waves, all of them, but we know a majority of them. 
there's a confirmation now. There has to be a 100% confirmation now. We've had two years of it where Wave 1 and Wave 2 come out in the same day. I would probably say in Europe. I know it doesn't happen sometimes in America. It happens like two days later. But there has to be a confirmation now that they come out on the same day. Um, we'll, oh, it's just crazy. There's just so much. The packagings, the figures in hand. It's oh, unbelievable. Really is unbelievable. Um, and obviously, let me know your thoughts about the new Skylands, which we've discussed in terms of Mr. Cat, Aurora, um, their moves, everything like that. All the other new ones, which we've seen now and have been 100%, 100%, 1,000%, 1,000,000% 1 confirmed. Um, wow, brilliant. Fantastic. Um, you can subscribe for more news. I don't know whether there's going to be any more news. Now, I say that, there probably is. But before the game comes out, there's not really a lot more to cover. Um, but obviously, if there is anything, let me know. You know, just comment on a video saying, you silly moose, you've forgotten this, what are you on about? Get a grip, do that now. Give us your opinion on that. That'd be brilliant, let me know. Um, but obviously, you're, only, you're subscribing for news, but you're also going to subscribe for the gameplay, the unboxings, everything. It's going to be a crazy month. It really is. It's going to be fantastic. And it's literally in 14... No, hold the phone. It's in 15 days. 15 days. That's crazy. It would be already out in Australia in about, well, t today, in 14 days. In 14 days it would be out. Or 13 days, because it was a Wednesday. It's crazy. But anyway, you can rate the video, so I know you're excited for more information. Because believe me, I want more information. I want I want screenshots, I want everything, I want, I want move sets, I want release dates, I want everything for the different waves. It's going to be amazing. And of course, rate the video if you are if you are definitely excited because I know I am. I'm like a bottle of pop now um, for Skylanders Imaginators. Boy, this has been an amazing, amazing, amazing update, and I I, oh, I can't wait for the game now. I really can't. But hopefully, these two weeks are going to fly by. The release is going to be literally two weeks tomorrow. Two weeks tomorrow. It's going to fly by. Fingers crossed. Oh, so there we go, guys. I'll leave it here. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you guys in the next video on the channel. So thank you, and goodbye.